Welcome to our service of night prayer in remembrance of Lancelot Andrews, bishop and scholar in the 16th and 17th centuries. Let us pray his commemoration. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who didst bring forth of water moving creatures that have life, and whales and winged fowls, and didst bless them, so as to increase and multiply. The things concerning the ascension set up thyself, O God, above the heavens and thy glory above all the earth. By thine ascension draw us with all unto thee, O Lord, so as to set our affections on things above and not on things on the earth. By the awful mystery of thy holy body and precious blood in the evening of this day, Lord, have mercy. Perfect in us, almighty God, whatever is lacking of your gifts, of faith to increase it, of hope to establish it, of love to kindle it, that like your servant Lancelot Andrews we may live in the life of your grace and glory through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Epistle 1 Timothy 2, 1-7 to First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions and thanksgivings be made for everyone, for kings and all who are in high positions, so that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and dignity. This is right and is acceptable in the sight of God, our Saviour, who desires everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, there is also one mediator between God and humankind, Christ Jesus, himself human, who gave himself a ransom for all. This was attested at the right time for this I was appointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. Hear the Gospel of Luke. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us. And do not bring us to the time of trial. Let us say an affirmation of faith together coming unto God I believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him I know that my Redeemer liveth that he is the Christ the Son of the Living God that he is indeed the saviour of the world and that he came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Through the grace of Jesus Christ we believe that we shall be saved even as our fathers withal. I believe verily to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. O Lord, my Lord, I thank thee for that I am, that I am alive, that I am rational for nurture, preservation, governance, for education, citizenship, religion, for thy gifts of grace, nature, estate, for redemption, regeneration, instruction, 
for calling, recalling, further calling manifold, for forbearance, long suffering, long, long suffering towards me many, many times, many years until now. For all good offices I have received, good speed I have gotten for any good thing done, for the use of things present, thy promise and my hope touching the fruition of the good things to come, for my parents, honest and good, teachers gentle, benefactors always to be had in remembrance, colleagues like-minded, hearers attentive, friends sincere, retainers faithful, for all who have stood me in good stead by their writings, their sermons, conversations, prayers, examples, rebukes, wrongs, for these things and all other which I what of, which I what of, not of, open and secret, Things I remember, things I have forgotten with all, things done to me after my will or yet against my will, I confess to thee and bless thee and give thanks unto thee, and I will confess and bless and give thanks to thee all the days of my life. What thanks can I render to God again for all the benefits that he hath done unto me? Let us bring our prayers together in the words that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May we strive to be the best version of ourselves we can be, discovering within and without the wonders of God's creation and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you and all those whom you love, this day and always. Amen. <laughs>